Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. Uh, my channel is new, so please subscribe, like, comment, share, all the above would be awesome. This is your reading for the week of July 17th through the 24th. This is the Celtic Crossbred, and I read it a little differently than other readers, so I'll ex I will explain as I go. I am also um, an author. You can find links to buy my books on Amazon in the description box, as well as links for uh, the trailers that I made for each book, as well as the um, video that I made for this channel. Okay, so at the heart of everything going on for you this week, Cancer, we have the Ten of Cups. This is your energy. This is water energy. This is emotion. This is ten. This is a happy ending. This is the family that we choose. This is fully uh, manifested. This is right side up. And so this is full on in your life right now. And Cancer, that is so awesome. It just tells me that you are enjoying a wonderful, happy ending in emotion and love. The next card that we read are the energies that are directly affecting what's at the heart of everything. And this is the three of discs. The discs are earth energy, that's our health, that's our wealth, that's our money. And threes are the number of manifestation. It starts with the idea, then the goal, and then the plan. And it looks like this is working for you right now. You have been manifesting something for your career, something in business, something is starting to work. It's time to put your skills and talents to good use, and it looks like you're doing it. The next energy that we read is more disc energy, and this is an energy that is there and it is trying to manifest currently. This is a beautiful energy. I just love this card so much. This is Conception. Okay, this could be a pregnancy. This could be the beginning of a new project. Okay, so because you've got this card, I'm thinking that you are just now starting some new type of project that is going to put your money in order. You have several coin cards here or disc cards rather, and uh, this is the beginning of it. Okay, this could mean uh, a pregnancy as well. This could mean a warm hearted, generous loving person who is also very stable. The next card that we read is the energy is that is moving out of your life currently, Cancer. And this is a major arcana card, which is a divine influence. It could be that um, there was some sort of love that has been uh, left behind. It is the, uh, this is also a Gemini card. This could be a Gemini that has left your life. This could be um, uh, the inspiration for your new um, business or career. And it's just that the divine inspiration, the time for the divine inspiration has passed. I mean, this doesn't have to be a love leaving your life. This could just be that. And, then, and I think that's what I'm feeling. You've gotten your divine inspiration. And now things are starting to work for you. The next cards that we read are future cards. This is a more immediate future, whereas this is a, a, a future that is just a little bit further out. That might be what uh, is different for everybody in their Celtic Cross readings. And here we have the Five of Wands. This is fire energy. This is directly related to career. This is um, a type of conflict, but it is fair. This is stuff like um, sparring or a, a type of conversation that actually is constructive. This could be that you just need to have a constructive conversation with someone and it's coming up and it has something to do with your career. Here, with the next card that we read is a number five, another number five. So at this point, this is when I would suggest that you Google angel number 55 because it has an additional message for you, Cancer. This is more 
um, earth energy and you can see this means worry now when we have the number four it makes stability when we have number five it takes some of that stability away so since this card is coming before this card I feel that they are very directly related you're going to be worried about something that has to do with your new business or your money your new con concept your idea that you got from the divine but the divine is telling you that you're going to have this conversation with somebody about your business and it's going to be constructive okay so I always tell people don't worry don't stay in the worry uh, energy for very long because all that does is bring more things for you to worry you to worry about you'll see this is right side up so is this these are fully manifested energies coming into your life and so don't stay in this energy for too long have that conversation and it's going to work out okay this also represents lack mentality but you know just don't stay there the next card that we read is your hope card and this is air energy cancer this is um, mental energy and this is one of my favorite cards it is called science and what you're hoping for is um, this this card itself represents uh, the mental discovery uh, journey of discovery uh, what scientists actually do they ask a question they get an answer it gives them more questions until they they feel like they've gotten there okay now most of the time I, I tell people that this right here you see this cross and then there's a rose right in the center that to me is the divine in life I believe that all of our questions should lead to the divine because that's what we are at heart we are all divine beings in a hu experiencing a human experience and so it's you know what you got your inspiration through the divine okay so when we ask what we need to do when we ask this of the divine and we ask through the divine and we pray and we will we will find our answers and I believe that is what you're hoping for to find the answers to keep them connected to your beautiful divine inspiration but you'll see right here that you're going to have a, a conversation and it's going to be constructive The next card that we read is your environment, Cancer, and this is the Knight of Wands. This is more career work energy, the fire of life, the spark of divine inspiration. This is not fully manifested. This knight is very powerful. He holds the Ace of Wands, and that is the initial spark, the most powerful spark that sets off something in your life and I'm thinking that um, you're just feeling like okay because you've just started this project you want to really get going on it and you just haven't quite gotten there yet okay this is zest for life this is the quest for thrills as teenagers they like they they explore their life with so much zest and 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 enjoy their lives so much so he's there he's manifesting don't do not worry cancer you you are really doing well kind of making a mess of these cards there we go okay so the next card that we read is your fear card all right and this card <laughs> you see you have the cross and the rose at the middle of this too and I think that it's saying you're afraid that you're not going to have success but I'm thinking cancer that you are because this is telling you there's nothing to fear okay you've got five five and six this is a progression of this same suit as well you see what I'm saying you're gonna have this constructive conversation and everything's going to be okay this energy will flip now stay with your divine inspiration okay follow your heart your heart knows 
your divine inspiration. Your heart knows what the divine wants for you. Your heart, which I'm feeling is connected, which is why this is the, as the lovers, okay? This is love. This is the divine, okay? There's nothing to worry about, Cancer. This You've got this, okay? Now, the next card that we read is your outcome for this week. And this is your beautiful energy. Again, Cancer, this is Cups. Now, she is not fully manifested, this queen. She is still upside down, but you can make her flip, okay? What I'm getting is that there needs to be some reflection, okay? You need to reflect upon yourself and your emotions and what you want and the divinity in your heart that is telling you what to do about this issue you're facing this week. And it's this reflection and this love, this emotion, that is going to guide you in your constructive conversation. Okay? Now, how much control do you have over this, Cancer? I, I gauge that by how many uh, major arcana cards that you have in this reading. And Cancer, you have only one. You are in almost complete control almost completely in control of this as long as you don't let this take over you're going to continue with your happy you're going to have the new beginning that the ace of uh, that the knight of wands is holding the ace of wands in his hands because tens uh, come right before a new beginning okay so stick stick with the reflection and have this conversation and you will have success this don't even worry about this just just get rid of it <laughs> okay because what is underneath this you have another progression as you have five and six here you also have five and six here at the bottom of the deck An underlying energy is victory in wands, wands or career. The career brings you the money. Everything is going to be all right. You just got to take it one step at a time as these number progressions, progressions ah, show you. So also look up angel number 66. You have another six here as well. You can look up angel number six, six, and six, and another six. Okay, that's angel number six, 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 four sixes. And you know what, Cancer? Six is the number of love. This is an awesome reading. See you next week.